my camera was on and it wasn't and I do apologize for that but um, what I had done was we had started off with our card our this is our card base and I had colored uh, this little basket of apples and I did this sign and stamped it with apples you pick and I wanted that to be my front focal point so I cut out a scallop using my um, I believe my two inch scallop punch no I'm sorry it's a two and a quarter inch scallop punch and this is an EK uh, tool scallop punch and I cut out several of these I had one that was a uh, an oval but that wasn't working for me so I went in and I did stamp out or punch out uh, three of these and I think what I want to do is I want to put them on each one of these sides this is going to act instead of a mat I'm going to use this as my mat um, and I'm thinking what I want to do is use these uh, pumpkins as you can see I kind of used dimensions and popped the apples up I put the sign behind it and uh, just wanted the sign to kind of be uh, suspended there behind the apple the little bushel basket of apples and I thought that turned out so cute I did use my Nouveau alcohol markers to color these and as you can see I made the apples look some granny uh, granny smith there in front some that were really dark and red some that look more like apple crisp uh, apples or the honey crisp um, so I wanted it to look like a variety of a basket of apples because what's any better than apples in the fall maybe pumpkin but we've got that covered because I've got these pumpkins and I think what I want to do with those is pop them up on this little black I just think it really enhances the pumpkin by putting it on that black so we're going to get some uh, pop dots and I am going to go ahead and pop these up Let's see. I got these right here and I think two pop dots on here is going to be plenty so there's one there and one here I'm just going to take these backers off and we're going to just stick this down like so and then I'm just going to use some art glitter glue and glue this flat down on there. I'm hoping that that's going to give it enough of weight. Remember me telling you that we needed some weight to help these uh, hang down? Now I have creased them very well here. So I'm hoping that this will be enough to hold them in the position that we want them. But okay, we're going to go ahead and, and get this one glued down. Then we're going to do one more just like it. Mm, my glue must have been a little bit sticky because my my pen did not want to come out okay so I'm just going to put some more glitter glue all around on there and then we're just going to glue this one down right here now I'm, I'm going ahead and decorate these flaps before I actually start working with my pieces on the inside. And it doesn't matter which way you do this. Um, either or will work. Uh, so it's just totally up to you um, how you want to decorate your card. Because remember, as I said earlier, this is your craft. Um, and what I'm doing here is my craft. I only want to inspire you with ideas, not so much for you to do identically what I do. And and that's not always the case anyway. I know when we watch uh, some YouTube videos, we are inspired to want to reproduce what we see done. But you know what's so much more fun? It is so much more fun if you look into your stash, find items that you have, and create your own. And as you can see, when this falls down, this will go into an envelope. Now, I will give you a, a rule of thumb. Um, this card, like it is, is three and three quarters. If whatever you want it to go up to, if you only want it to go to six, 
this is one, two, three, four, five, six. When you're putting your pieces in, just lay it down randomly and make sure that your pieces are not protruding up any more than six, and then this will fit perfectly in a six by six. If you do end up going up a little higher, that's not a problem either because if you make your own envelopes, you can easily custom an, uh, custom make an envelope um, to fit up you know, a little bit higher. So that's totally up to you uh, how you do that, but you can make it fit in a six by six. Just wanted y'all to know that. Now I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with this little basket. My, my first inclination was I wanted to stack some pumpkins. Um, you know, like they were hanging out, they were kind of piled up on top of each other, they were hanging here and there and I still kind of want I still kind of want that look of the pumpkins in the cart but I'm trying to figure out where do I want this cart I have this cute little barn that I want to put in my card I also have these rakes and like I told you I want to cut let me move this over just for a moment I want to cut a piece of um Remember we made our strips out of this craft? I'm going to cut a strip because I figured when I colored this reef, um, reef, I'm so sorry, <laughs> when I colored this rake um, where the fall was, I wanted it to match this craft and that's almost a perfect match. So I am going to cut about a quarter of an inch off of this strip and there is always um, a reason for what I do. So I'm going to go right here to a quarter of an inch. I'm going to bring my blade down so I can sink it and then cut the strip off like so. And the reason I wanted this is I want to attach, I left this little strip of white when I cut this reef out because I thought how cute will it be to glue that onto a rake stick. So I am going to adhere this piece to this, just like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little art glitter glue and I am going to put it on this piece right here. And I am going to bring this piece over to it, like so. I'm just going to lay it down and then I want to turn it over and I want to wiggle it down to where it just meets that black line. Now I'm going to let that adhere for just a few minutes. Then we're going to trim this down and this is going to give us our, um, our little um, rake. So we're going to actually cut this off about here. And I'm going to use just my scissors to kind of angle this like that and like this because we know that rakes have a little bit of a roundness at the top. I got a little point right there. No big deal. We're just going to trim it. There we go. Now we have a cute little fall rake. Is that not adorable? And I definitely want this to go back in here. And I'm thinking I'm going to glue that directly to the back. Um, and maybe the little barn. Uh, maybe not. I'm so indecisive on how I want to do this. And I wish I had had this pre-planned. But I'm just bringing y'all along with me, and we're just going to do this as we go. Um, let's see. We do have these other pumpkins. So I definitely know that I want some pumpkins to live right here in the front. So I think what I might do is go ahead and start building it. I am going to put my top back on my glue because we're going to be using acetate to adhere these pieces in. And I'll tell you what I'm using. This was a piece of packaging. Um, so I just cut it down and I used it on the uh, flower and butterfly uh, card box. 
and I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough here to finish this one. And I think I will because um, it doesn't take a lot of this uh, to give you the strips the size that you need. So I'm just gonna cut it down to like a quarter of an inch. Oh, don't let that happen to you. You gotta really hang on to this acetate because it is slippery. So when you're cutting, really put your hand, oh, see it did it again. I didn't have any trouble with it when it was wider. Maybe it's because it's gotten so much more narrow now, it's hard to hang on to it. I'll tell you what, there's always more than one way. We're just gonna take our scissors and cut this piece off. And I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna cut straight down like so. Maybe what I'll do with the rest of it is I'll move it over on this side. And no, I don't know if that's going to work either. Let's see. Yep. We might have to cut the rest of these with our scissors. But that, like I said, it's okay. We can cut it either way because this is just going to give us our little pieces that are going to float around in here. So we're going to probably be able to cut this in half like so and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this cute little pumpkin and I am using like I told you I am going to use my sticky tape for this because um, it takes glue forever to dry on acetate um, and I want this to go fairly quickly so we can finish this card it will take me probably an hour or better to um, actually get this uploaded to y'all. So uh, hopefully it will go up either tonight or first thing in the morning. And today is still Friday. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy that I started this early this morning, but there was a lot of parts to this card that I really wanted to kind of go in depth with you on. So we're gonna take these pumpkins now and we're just gonna stick that down like so and we are going to bring those pumpkins in on this first piece uh, your first little um, riser and this is where you really have to kind of eyeball where you want it to live so I usually hold my card from underneath and then I bring it up to about where I want it and I'm going to feel where that's at and I hold my finger there like that now I know that I want my tape to hit below this point. So I just put a little bend in my acetate that will show me that that's where I need to put my tape. And uh, I'm going to get me off another little piece of sticky tape. And we're going to put that right here. And pull it off. And then we're going to go in here, making sure you're working toward the front. And we're going to bring that down and stick it right there. And you can see I'm reaching up in there and just pressing that down to make sure that that gets adhered uh, to where I got crooked on me. That's okay. This tape is very forgiving and it does allow you to move it if you do it quickly. Okay. Yep, I think that's good. And it gives us our little pumpkins right there. I might clip that leaf off right there because I'm not sure that leaf is going to work hanging over the edge. And it's not a big deal. You can take off what you need, leave what you want. Yeah. And see, that looks very cute popped up there like that. So now, let's put the little barn right here, but we're going to heighten it a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, I kind of want that barn right here. Yeah, let's put the barn here. So again, I'm going to do a little piece of sticky tape, and this time I'm going to actually put it on the back of the barn. Make it back in frame. So here's my barn, and there's my little piece of sticky tape. And let's release it. And then I'm going to sit this piece of acetate right into that. Mm 
I am getting a little stickiness from that, so I'm just going to kind of de-stick it on the, on the other side of this acetate so it doesn't stick to anything. But I'm thinking I want this born maybe even right there. Wouldn't that look cute? It looks like the barn is up on the hill. I think that's perfect. And let me see how high I want this to go. This is what I was talking about, about putting your um, card base down on your mat, like right here. And I know that this is three and a half, or three and three quarters. And I can go up to here. One, two, three, four five six I can go up to there and still get it to fit in a six by six so let's see if we glued it down right there would that give me what I was looking for let's lift it up and see yeah and I think that will work I think that'll work really good so let's um get some more sticky tape and let's put a piece of sticky tape about here and let's lift up our adhesive our backer Then we're going to go to the card, and I am going to stick that down about there. And now you can see we've got our barn sitting up back there in the back. We've got this nice little yellow place here that kind of gives us a little background for the barn. And I'm I'm thinking I'm going to like this card. I really couldn't picture it in my head as I was putting it together, if this is exactly what I wanted or not. But I think that this is going to be really cute. Um, I still want to do the pumpkin, so I'm thinking maybe the wagon right here. And let me see if this piece will fit, and I believe that will. So let's try putting our wagon on this little piece of... Um, the scallop, this little oval scallop. Now it is bent a little bit right here, but this is going to be down in the box quite a little bit, and it's also going to be covered up, so I think it's going to be okay. What I do want to do is pop that up on, on the pop dots, or foam dots, and the reason I want to pop it up is because I want the pumpkins to look like they're sitting behind the basket, or behind the, um, the wagon. So let's get one more piece. And I could have very easily used um, the foam tape, which is pretty much the same thing. But I thought, I got these little foam dots, so I'm going to use them. And here's another little pack. These are smaller, so I'm just going to put one on each one of the wheels, just to kind of catch all of it onto that black. Maybe even one piece right there. And I'm going to lay this on here before I stick it down. I want to stick my pumpkins down. So I want some of the pumpkins to be raised, but I want some of them to be, to be adhered down. So this one I'm going to adhere right there. And let's just go ahead and do this with a little art glitter glue. So I'm just going to put a little dab. Okay, for whatever reason, my camera cut off on me again, and I've got full battery. I don't know exactly what happened, but at any rate, all I have done is stuck my little squirrel down to here, and we are going to put him right on this first piece, and I want him at an angle, I think. Yeah, I want him to look like he's sitting on top of that box right there. So I am going to cut this off. What I'm doing is I'm going to cut this at an angle about there. 
and then he can sit like he's sitting right there and that is cute okay so we're going to get a little piece of sticky tape again and we're going to put it right here like so see if we can get him angled so he looks like he's sitting up on the edge of the card. Oh, so cute. Is that not precious? I am loving the way this is coming together. This is super, super cute. Now, I still want to put my broom, I mean my broom, <laughs> oh, my husband would have a field day with that one, our rake. I think what I'm going to do is put it right here right to the front right maybe right there and to do that we're just going to need a little bit of glue because i'm going to mail i'm going to adhere this directly to the box we're not going to use acetate so i'm going to put that like right there and just stick this at an angle like so now again like i said everything's going to fold like this to mail so even though we've got some things angled off to the sides and here and there, it's still going to work for us. Now I think this little squirrel is going to look good back here and or maybe even, hmm, we may end up putting him over here. Well, let, let's see what else we can do. Maybe the pumpkins with the little squirrel sitting up on them would be really cute on the back. So that's an idea for that. The other thing that I want to do is I've, I did um, stamp out and print these leaves, or stamped out and colored these leaves. So I'm wondering how they're going to look um, just kind of suspended here and there. Like we've got leaves just kind of that have fallen. Let's see if it looks better like that. Yeah, that looks cute. So let's put it like this. And let's cut us another little strip of tape. And you can see it doesn't take very much of this tape um, on this acetate because, and again, like I said, this is so much better on the acetate than trying to use the glue. You can use your art glitter glue, so don't feel like you can't, but you will have to hold it and make sure that it doesn't wiggle or squiggle. Um, a little bit longer than you normally would because it will um, I think like this it will move on you and you will not get the positioning that you wanted yeah that looks good right there so you know what we're going to do with this one we're going to put a little piece on the back just a tiny little piece my husband has been doing the cooking since um, I've been incapacitated with my foot and he has actually gone shopping and he is going to make a low country boil and uh, for any of my friends that don't know what that is um, it's usually a seafood um, with some corn on the cob some smoked sausage and uh, some um, seafood and I think the two seafoods we're going to do is shrimp and crab legs so we're going to do shrimp and crab legs we're going to do onion red potatoes and um, corn on the cob I think I said that corn on the cob new pota um, red potatoes onion shrimp sausage and crab legs does that not sound yummy you just put it all in a, in a big pot, you throw it on the stove, and you cook it. Um, you don't put your shrimp in until last because they take the least amount of time. So what takes the most time would be your potatoes and your corn and maybe your sausage. So you put that in first and get it boiled and, and almost done. Then you throw your crab legs in. And then the last thing you do is add your shrimp. You basically can turn the burner off at that point and call it a done deal. So it sounds so yummy, and I just can't wait. Um, 
I've really enjoyed him cooking. Uh, he doesn't cook real often, but uh, my husband's a very good cook, you know, but he works all the time, and um, I usually take it on myself to do the cooking, and I don't mind. I, there are times I love to cook. And, uh, and then there's also, time, also times that I don't like to cook, but I am really enjoying uh, his cooking and him taking over the reins while I'm um, not able to get around like I should. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut another strip of the acetate. This is probably the last one we're going to need because the only thing I got left to do is these leaves and I just wanted these falling leaves to, to look. And my puppy dog is whining. He's, he's wanting up here. And you can't. No, Toby. No, no. It's okay. It's all right. Go lay down. Go lay down. He is so rotten and he's been really kind of antsy with me since I've had my surgery. And I'm sure he can't quite grasp what's wrong with mama how come mama can't take care of me like she always did i mean he's still very well taken care of don't get me wrong he is just rotten to the core um and i wouldn't have him any other way he has my little he has my little sugar button that's for sure so let's see if we can put this I'm out of camera frame again. It's so hard for me to remember to work up on this end of my work surface. So I am going to put this down like so. And we're going to put this one maybe here. Maybe down a little bit, but right there. So I'm going to put the adhesive back here. here and then we're just gonna break that off and let's see if we can sit this one right about there and I do want it angled because I think the leaves look good at an angle and now we've got these and you know, I'm not too sure I'm going to use these. These are cute, but I think there's a little bit too much white showing there. I think we might stop at this point. I do want to put a sign in here, and I do have a space right there still for my sign. I kind of want the sign to go up and off right here. So I am going to come back over on this side, and using my black cardstock again, I am going to punch another one of these the two and a quarter um, scalloped circle I love these EK um, tools or EK success punches they always punch so beautifully um, great customer service uh, I had to call because my regular circle two inch punch um, is no longer functioning it, it's like it jammed or something and we can't seem to get it to unlock so I contacted them and they are sending me a new one uh, just right out right out of the uh, warehouse which I thought was wonderful I told them it had been almost a year since I had purchased my punch I did not have a receipt and they said that was not a problem and I thought what wonderful customer service so that alone will make me um, be a EK Tools um, repeat customer, which I already love their their punches. They are just phenomenal. Let's have him sitting right back there like that. And you know, I think I'm going to snip this little bit off of him right there. And maybe a little bit of this right here. I like his little whiskers, but... I don't want that white sticking out on the black. And we're just going to glue him down. I'm just going to put a line of glue right there and stick his little body right into the glue. Just 
just like so. And we are going to glue him down right here. So the only thing that I've got left to do is my Happy Fall, y'all. And I have this little banner that was in this uh, Happy Fall stamp set. This is what I got the wagon out of. Uh, this is also a May May Made It uh, stamp set. Um, I am in her stamp uh, club of the month. So I do have quite a few of her stamps. Uh, I have quite a few of Tracy's stamps. And I love both of their stamp sets. They are... Uh, different, which is good, um, that gives me a variety. I, I have other stamps that I, I like as well, but I do seem to have a go-to um, with the, the ones from those two manufacturers. Let me grab a piece of white paper. You know, I should have just grabbed a scrap for that. Let's see. Let's put that right there again and see if I've got a little scrap piece over here. Because I may have to stamp this more than once because this is a new stamp. But I'm going to try conditioning it. I have found out that if you condition your stamps, and I'm going to show you what I mean, and I know what I'm getting ready to say is going to sound a little gross, but I found out the oil in my skin conditions my stamps beautifully. So I will just take, and I have oily skin, which is a curse and a blessing when you're older, but I just take and rub my hand on my face, and I, will, I don't have that much on me today, but I will do that and just rub it on my stamp. And it's amazing. Now, if you do not want to do this, I will show you another thing that works really good. If you use Squeaky Clean to clean your stamps and you have one of these little stamp pads, I will spray a little bit of my Squeaky Clean and just run my stamp through it. It is an oil-based stamp cleaner. And even though it looks like it lathers, just go over to the other side of your, uh, your little Squeaky Clean pad and do that. And that will give you a coating on your stamp that will make your ink adhere. I don't know why, I don't know how it works, but it does work. So both of those methods will work for you, and, uh, and it works really well. So I am going to actually stamp this out in the VersaFine. And this is going to be a solid stamp with the word Happy Fall, y'all, will come through on the white cardstock. So I am going to try to make sure that I get this loaded up really well. And I always look at my stamp and see that looks very well covered. So that's a good indication that I'm going to get a good stamp. So let's go down. Um, you know, before I do, I might put it on my mouse pad if I can find it. I'm not seeing it right here, so so my ink doesn't dry. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp it up here, and that'll give me a second chance down at the bottom. I just I'm going to set it down and just hold even pressure on it. That looks really good. I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, folks, sorry about that, but I have run through another battery. So this, um, I may end up breaking this video into two parts because the fact that it has um, taken quite some time uh, to get this video up. Now what I'm doing is I'm just letting this dry a little bit because I do want to cut this banner out. And I am going to fussy cut using my uh, Cutter B scissors, and I'm just going to go in and start cutting it out. 
it, it you can see a little white bleeding through on this but you know what I think that's going to be okay because it's just going to give it that weathered look that you see so so many times at the farm on little signs and things they look weathered and I think that's just going to add to the charm of this uh, little box card so I'm just going to let that ride I am very anxious like I said to get this video up for y'all and uh, like I said I may very well put this up in two parts because and if I do that I will put up one part tonight hopefully and I will put the other one up tomorrow I've got some more ideas that I've uh, that I'm working on I have in the in the process of working on um, that I want to bring you some different fall projects and also some Christmas projects I know it's we had just had our Christmas in July and I did not really get in on that so uh, but I do love uh, doing projects for Christmas so I'm already on the hunt for some cute and uh, exciting projects to bring for the Christmas season and uh, I want to do one also on ATCs. I don't know how many of y'all are going to MadeItCon, but uh, I know we, we do swap uh, ATCs, which are artist trading cards. And for any of you do that don't know what they are, I will do an introduction to ATCs and uh, tell you uh, how to cut your paper and just hopefully inspire you on some you really can't make a ATC um, to show you how to do it other than dimensions because it's actually your artwork it's your stamps and your decorating and your it's it's your thing so um, I will share with you some of the ones that I've made and uh, some of the ones that I've received uh, for ideas and and just inspiration so I do love doing uh, ATCs. If you're in a slump, in a crafting slump, ATCs is a great way to get out of it because they are quick, they're small, and they're fun. There's our little happy fall, y'all. So, and here's our little piece that we're going to hook this on. So I'm going to need another little piece of tape and we're going to put this right here maybe I'll do it crossways but I don't need that much so I'll tell you what let's use our block and we're just going to tear that I'll stick this back on my on here in case we need it for another piece but I, I got a feeling that we're, this is going to finish up our card we will need it for the end so that, that'll work okay Let's get this up here so you can see what I'm doing. I am just going to stick that, well, it might help if I take the backer off. So let's take, pull the backer off. I'm getting ahead of myself, so I don't know if y'all get excited when you're coming to the end of a project that you've been working on, but I do. And uh, I get so excited. Oh, that's so cute right there. Yep, I think I like it right there. I am going to glue this down right about here I want that to be up so I'm going to put my little piece of tape right here like so let's pull the backer off and oh, did that come unstuck oh no I think I need to put another piece on the on this just a little bit a little bit further down so yeah we'll, we'll readdress that one let's get our happy fall y'all in there we go and now I'm 
going to put another piece of tape because whatever happened, this one, this piece did not stick. I don't know what happened, but we need that to stick right there. So let's push it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull that back just a hair and stick that right up under there like so. And let's pull that off. We're going to fold that back up on itself. And then we're just going to stick this back down where it was. Like so. Alrighty, our card is done. I hope that y'all will love this card as much as I have. Um, I think it turned out so cute. Uh, again, like I said, this is going to be an easy card to mail to someone. And uh, whoever whoever decides that I, that gets a card like this, they are going to be so thrilled. I cannot imagine uh, receiving something like this and not being thrilled um, to death because it is just beautiful. Uh, I think it turned out really good. Uh, please leave me your suggestions, uh, constructive criticism and anything else that you would like to say about this little card. Let me know what your ideas would be. And if you like this video and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click that little um, subscribe button that's down in the bottom and hit the like button. Uh, give me thumbs up on the video. Uh, it does help me to grow my channel with positive comments. Leave a comment. That helps me uh, with my statistics. And if you want to share this video, if you know anybody else that would enjoy my video, please, please, please share. I am trying, my goal is to reach 200 before the end of this month, and I only have maybe about 12 more subscribers to go. So I am hoping that I will see 200 plus before the end of the month. Uh, your help, your support, and everything means the world to me. I want to thank you all so much. And oh, well, as I was going to say, if you do make one of these box cards, I want to see it. I really would love to see it. So we have a Facebook group called Random Acts of Crafting by Kathy Champion. Uh, please go over and um, subscribe. All you have to do is hit the join button. You will be approved. And then you can share all of your creativity uh, on our Facebook page. But please, if you do make this, I would love to see your project. I would love to see what you do with the box card. And uh, God bless you all for watching, for tuning in. And thanks so much. Have a blessed day and be a blessing to someone else. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.